Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now this one is just going to be a quick little video going over the Windows 7 games and Windows 8 and 10 video that I um, published right when Windows 10 was just uh, announced to the public or to um, you know beta testers back in um, October of 2014. And this is actually the updated video to an even earlier video that I made on this same topic. But because of the um, recent Windows 10 anniversary update that has been um, you know, pushed out and is currently rolling out to a lot of people, um, some of you guys were saying that the games actually do not work with this update anymore. And you'll see that um, we have this guy right here saying that uh, the games do not work with the anniversary update. There's this guy down here. I have even um, you know, tried to ask this guy if he was able to uh, reinstall the games. And he says that he's done that and they don't start. And I've actually you know, tried this myself and even putting the games into compatibility mode does not really solve anything. It still makes the games um, you know, not start. Um, and you know, for those of you uh, who are wondering, this is the game uh, file right here that was featured in that previous video. And yeah, this was basically designed for Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, but it kind of just so happened to work on um, Windows 10, the um, you know final release, and you know back in that time, obviously the um, you know current beta release. So that's why that I um, you know publish it in that video. But since a lot of people are on the Windows 10 anniversary update, including myself, um, on my uh, you know host computer here, um, I'm going to be showing you how to get um, a new uh, working method to getting these games working in the anniversary update of Windows 10. And I do want to thank, um, I believe it was actually this guy uh, uh, Rob right here for pointing this out to me, and I guess everybody else. And I'm just kind of making this video to make everybody else, um, you know, aware that has not, um, you know, seen his comment or has, um, you know, found this link. But I'm going to be posting this link down below. Um, when you go to this link, it's essentially a, um, you know, download page at winarrow.com. You just have to, uh, you know, click on the download Windows 7 games for Windows 10. And... You'll see that I don't have anything installed in the uh, Microsoft Games folder in the um, you know, C program files uh, Microsoft Games directory. So nothing um, is installed, but we are going to be um, installing these games right here. Um, I will show the uh, credits.txt file as these are all of the people that worked on this patch being able to get these games to work. And all you essentially have to do, it's very similar to the, um, you know, original updated video, which is the, you know, second video that I made on this topic. All you have to do is, uh, you know, run this file. And this actually does take a little, um, you know, while to actually open up, at least the, you know, first time uh, that I ran it, it did. You want to obviously, uh, you know, select your language. And yeah, this is where that it for some reason takes a while. I'm not really sure why, but once you click on OK, it just kind of takes a while to come up with the rest um, of the installer. Here we are at the Windows 7 games for Windows 10, and this still works on Windows 8. It says right here, I have not tested it on Windows 8, but I'm going to assume that it works. And obviously, if it does not, you know, you can just use one of the two previous methods that I will also have linked down below. And it also gives you the same sort of options to choose all the games that you want. I'm just going to leave all of these checked here. And it's going to take 335 megabytes of space. So we're going to click on install. And at the end here, we do have this box that is checked that is basically um, trying to get you to go and uh, check out this program called WinArrow Tweaker which is another um, you know, program that this site makes. So we're just gonna uncheck that and uh, click on finish. And you'll see that all these folders are now in the Microsoft Games directory. And just to show you that they do work, we're gonna open up um, Spider Solitaire, for example, and we're gonna run spidersolitaire.exe, and you'll see that it works perfectly fine, the sound and everything, and you have Spider Solitaire, and we'll go to Help and About. This is version 1607 OS build 1493, which is the anniversary update build. So there you go. 
and we can do the same thing with say minesweeper we'll, we'll do the same thing here minesweeper works fine there you go i don't want to close out of that and we also have this more games folder which is just a dll file that was last modified in 2009 i'm assuming that's just for some of these other games to uh, work um and i think that these multiplayer ones even work too so these are um the old internet backgammon games and you'll see that yeah it it still actually will um you know connect to the server and here here we are so i am playing with somebody else in uh, internet backgam and I'm gonna obviously quit here because um, I don't you know re I really want to play uh, you know backgammon right now but yeah guys just a um you know quick little video I just wanted to um, highlight this new method of getting these games working for you guys as I know a lot of you people out there um, really want to get these games working in Windows 10 and Windows 8 because Microsoft did take these games out of Windows 10 and Windows 8 um, which is a, a really you know odd thing that they did but for some reason they decided to, to um, you know do that there's been a, a lot of people um, including myself that have wanted the um, you know these old classic Windows 7 games back um, in the newer versions of Windows so just say um, again guys a new method that should work for you guys and if it does not work you know let me know down in the comments below and me or hopefully somebody else down there will um you know try to help you out but just again guys thank you very much for watching thank you very much for all of your amazing support on the channel and i will see you guys in the next video